What's up everybody, Brennan here, bringing you another video. Uh, today we got a really special project that we're getting started on. This is Visalia Eye Center's uh, 200 gallon acrylic aquarium, it sits in the middle of their office. It's been up for many, many years, um, but recently it's it's gotten a new stand and a new canopy. Um, yeah, it's visible from all four sides. So it's a really cool aquarium. Sits right here in the middle of their office, really neat. Um, the big issue though with this aquarium and the reason we're having some problems is this disaster down here. So this is a very unorganized mess and my job for today is going to be removing all of this old equipment and installing some brand new equipment, uh, a new sump, a new auto top off reservoir, uh, we're going to try and incorporate as much as the existing equipment that's in there as we can, but of course a lot of it is going to get replaced. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. We're also uh, going to be adding some power heads, installing some brighter lights that will be capable of growing coral. And we're gonna transform this tank. We're gonna increase the fish load. I definitely wanna add a lot more fish in here. <clears throat> and with the lights, we'll be able to keep uh, a lot more coral as well. Um, there's the other side of the sump. So as you can see, it passes all the way through. I got some lights up there just so I can see, but um, it's it's really not a very organized, not a very well thought out filtration system, and and that reflects in the tank. Uh, the fish that are in there seem like they're doing fine, um, and and the water's tested out good inside this tank. Uh, however, this filtration system, it's just not really built to handle more than what's in there right now. And and again with the lighting too, these current loops, um, they just really don't have the output to keep you know, anything alive past some little pallies or whatever those are right there. Cool. So yeah, I got a lot to get unloaded. Um, I live fairly close to this aquarium, so it'll be nice to make a couple trips and, and just load up everything I need. And I have the office to myself. So yeah, here we go. We're going to completely rebuild the filtration system and lighting system and all of the electrical is going to get redone and so is the plumbing so super cool super excited let's do it All right, so we've been at it for a few hours today. Uh, we've gotten quite a bit done so far. One of the main things that I just finished right now is the canopy. So uh, we took out the old current LED lights that were in there before, and we upgraded to the Nikru 150 watt LEDs. Um, so yeah, I got those all screwed into the canopy. I have holes drilled on the back side of the canopy for the fans uh, that are on the lights. And then there's also canopy fans on either side. So I decided to mount the power supplies in line with the fans to help try and keep those as cool as possible and keep all the wires up out of the way. And that way uh, we only have one cord, which is the power cord that's actually gonna be running down the center of the tank in that dry pipe. So you can see straight down there, that's the dry pipe. So instead of having, you know, a whole pile of wires like we had before, now everything's nice and tidy, nice and neat, and actually stuck to the lid. Uh, so it's not gonna fall off or, or get damaged or anything like that. But yep, uh, let's go ahead and turn it on so you can see it's really bright. So I'll only keep it on for a second. Oh yeah, super bright. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even look at that. Those are those things are super bright. So I'll have to turn those down, but um, yeah, look at that. Super clean, Velcro strap power supplies all ready to go. Over here, moving on to the tank. Uh, we've installed a couple of the JBO. What are these? The 
uh, the SOW20s. Uh, these things move a ton of water. Right now I just have them hooked up uh, outside of the fish tank because we've taken almost everything out of there except for the sump. Uh, and we still have a lot of cleaning to do underneath there. But uh, as you can see, the fish are doing good. The wave maker pump is moving plenty of water in there. So the fish seems super happy. But we've removed the protein skimmer, the chiller, chiller pump. Uh, there's just two return pumps in there now and that filter sock, which is all going to get changed and uh, here pretty soon hopefully we'll, we'll be removing this electrical and removing this old sump too. Uh, one other thing we'll show real quick here's some of the equipment that we're going to be putting on the tank. I know it's kind of a mess in here but uh, there's the uh, Red Sea roller mat. What is this the 1200? Yeah so this is the big one and then we got the ice cap algae turf scrubber pro. So those are both going into our nicely built uh brennan's aquarium service sump right here the sump has a built-in auto top off reservoir in the back and there's also a lid right here for this as well uh roller mat's gonna go right here reef octopus protein skimmer and then in the back there is gonna be the algae turf scrubber so yeah the sump came out really nice cut out that vinyl decal with the cricket that's the logo and then just some spray paint and a neoprene mat on the bottom. So yeah, we're moving right along with the project here. Still have a lot of work to do, um, but I'll update you whenever something new happens. So we got the sump out. There is a little bit of a leak coming, or it's not really a leak, but a little drip coming off of the, the drain line still. Um, I couldn't get it all the way out to drain it completely. So what we're gonna do is pull this towel out, slide the new sump in, and that drip will at least be dripping into the sump and not onto the ground here. But we've got it all cleaned up. Uh, still have some electrical to move and, and, and a lot of work to do there, but let's see if we can't get that sump in here next. Okay, so we got the sump in. Uh, we got the filter roller in. It's all hooked up to the union, to the main drain. Coming down into the Red Sea roller mat. Got our sump all set up with the cool logo. Looks sweet, pretty clean. I've, uh, I've got these bulkheads glued in. This one right here, uh, I'm actually gonna wait. This is the old bulkhead, but we need to uh, wait for the new one to come in. So I ordered a couple. Hopefully they'll be in here soon. Um, but in the meantime, we'll probably just be running one single pump until until we can get the bulkhead in. But yeah, that's pretty good. That's looking looking pretty nice in there. Got the fish tank drained down just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think that's that's gonna be pretty much it for today. Yeah, see the back side of the filter roller. Pretty good. Yeah, everything fits in there real nice. Uh, tomorrow I got some more plumbing and electrical work to do inside the stand and also to build the wall inside here, but that should be that should be pretty fun. That should be good. Got our whole lighting set up over here. I've already showed you this, but yeah, that's pretty much what we've accomplished today. Um, tomorrow we'll check back in and uh, hopefully get this thing wrapped up tomorrow. All right, coming to you live from inside the stand. Um, we are currently directly underneath a 200 gallon saltwater aquarium and it's dripping into this pail ever so slightly through the overflow. But that's not why we're here. Why we're here is we are disconnecting the power lines. Uh, we've actually already shut the breaker off. So we're disconnecting the power lines. That way we can remove our main electrical line and uh, relocate it into what will be the dry side of the aquarium. Uh, and that's pretty much where I'm sitting now. I've already had to slide the sump out because uh, after test fitting the wall, it doesn't exactly fit uh, with the aquarium in here. So the wall will have to go in first and then everything will go around it and then everything will mount on top of the wall as well, including this uh, electrical. So we're gonna go ahead and get this pulled out and get our wall moved in here. Okay, time for a little update. Uh, we've been hard at work here this morning. And as you can see, we've managed to get the back wall installed. I've also removed all of the electrical components that were right up here on this left wall. Uh, and then I've uh, rewired the electrical to the dry side of the stand. 
uh, and then I got the power back on. So yeah, everything's fitting in there really nicely. Um, the, the wall was kind of difficult to install, but what we did is we actually cut it in half uh, and, and we were able to fit it in there as long as we removed the sump. Once we removed the sump, uh, I was able to get both pieces of wood in there properly. So yeah, we got the lights going, got the drain, got the Red Sea filter roller, got the sump in. Um, we'll take you around the other side. It's still kind of a mess in here. But here on the other side, you can see, let me see if I can maybe zoom out a little here. You can see really what we're working with. So this side is the dry side. I've taken off both of the fans and cleaned them. This one's on right now, that one's off, but uh, they're both clean, they're both running good. As you can see, we have our main power supply line coming in right there. Uh, I have the lights plugged in on the left and then two surge protectors up here. So we have a total of 16 outlets um, to plug in on those surge protectors, uh, plus another one down here. So yeah, the chiller is gonna go right here and then we'll have this open space up here for mounting additional controllers. I already have some cable management ties uh, put in place. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We got the switch hooked up for the lights. So I can easily just pop the cabinet open and hit the lights and see what's going on in here. But um, the fish seem like they did good overnight. Everybody's still swimming around in there. They don't seem bothered one bit, but I am actually gonna feed them right now. All right, it's the end of day two and we've gotten a lot done on this tank pretty tired I've been at it all day but we've got the canopy back on we'll start we'll start right up here at the top we got the Jabo controllers all mounted up inside the canopy got the cords nicely managed and the power supplies also mounted up inside the canopy all the lights are hooked up and running and working good um, let's see right here we got all the lights the fans and the wave maker pumps all plugged into this one surge predictor and that one cord goes through the dry tube and all the way down to the bottom moving down to the bottom so yeah a lot has changed uh we we got the sump in the walls in uh the the filter roller is all plumbed up i got the protein skimmer cleaned up and managed to figure out a way to fit it in there so that's good that's working uh, we got the ice cap algae turf skimmer or scrubber algae turf scrubber pro that's all hooked up and right here we have our Tunzi auto top off with our cables uh, nice and tucked away can't really see the logo too much but it's there I know it's there oh got the chiller pump back there we're saving uh, the full install for the chiller for another day just because um, pretty pretty beat pretty tired but um, this right here, I got all the plumbing finish for the two main return pumps. Uh, it's a mag 18 and a mag 12 and they're both running through the true union ball valves and then up to the tank. So I was able to save some of the old plumbing. Uh, those flex PVC lines were from the uh, existing filtration system uh, I've just changed all of the um, all of the unions uh, the ball valves the check valves and then also right here the impeller covers have also been replaced uh, and then yeah so we got this one all set up as well pretty sweet pretty sweet and very clean inside here this is and this is everything that's pretty much going to be in here all the time so very clean very minimal the lights you know light everything up really good you got your auto top off over here on the side and then back here in this back section uh there's a little bit of extra room that's more than likely where the calcium reactor is going to go so uh oh and then also we even got the let's see if we can see that that right there is the line holder and the line for the auto top off so yeah we got everything hooked up and looking good on the other side the other side is kind of a mess right now <clears throat> but i'll show you guys anyways 
And this is kind of what I'm going to be doing tomorrow is uh, further organizing and cable managing this whole cabinet. Um, but not too bad. I mean, um, pretty much all the wires that are going to be in here are in here now. We just got to get everything plugged in. Uh, we're going to leave the tank like this overnight, one more night, just to make sure that all of the PVC parts and the silicone, all of that has time to dry uh, before we start running water through it. So, yeah. I'll be back here first thing tomorrow to get all of this tidied up in a way, but I think that's pretty much it. Fish seem like they're doing fine in there. They're doing okay. The water's moving. The tank's rocking. I fed them uh, earlier tonight and got them some algae, so they're doing good. Uh, but we, yeah, we'll check back in tomorrow and we'll get this tank, uh, or I guess I should say we'll get this sump full of water and get this tank rolling again. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. All right. We're back in the Visalia Eye Center. Got the tank all finished up, filled up all the way full of water. Got the whole filtration system running now. Thankfully, there was no leaks. As you can see, we got the roller mat going. It's already starting to pull out some, some pretty dirty stuff there. Skimmer's rolling. Got the algae turf scrubber going as well. Auto top off is full and all set up. So yeah, it's looking good. Fish seem happy now that their tank's full again. We even got our little mascot back. Dry side still needs some work, some cable management, but it's all set up and running now. So, yeah. Next step is to bring out some new fish.